In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract. So here we have a very basic sales spreadsheet. So let's say in cell B8, we want to add up just two sums. You want to press the equals key in cell B8, and this will bring up the function box. So let's say you want to add Stan's January sales. So you'd select that here in B2. Then you need to press shift and a plus key. And now let's come down and select Mary's January sales. So B3. And you can keep doing that if you wish by pressing shift and plus and then select Julie's sales in B4. Now you can either press the green tick here or press enter. And then that has added them three sales. Now we can double tap cell B8 and this will bring back up the function. And let's say we want to add Stan and Mary's sales, but take away Julie's. So you'd come to the plus between Mary's and Julie's sales here, then delete the plus sign and add a minus sign. And then press the green tick or enter. And as you can see, Stan and Mary's sales have been added and Julie's has been taken away from the total, all within one function. So let's quickly get rid of that. Now let's bring back up the function box with an empty cell and you can add all these sales up by clicking the top one and then dragging the mouse down throughout the rest of the cells. And then you can press the little green tick or enter and this will tally all the cells that you've highlighted. Now you don't have to do that like this. What you can do is highlight the cell B8 where you've just created that function. And if you see this little yellow tab, you want to click it and hold and drag it to the rest of the cells. And this will sum all the rest of the sales. So now we have the total and here below we have the expenses. So what we want to do is we want to subtract the expenses from the total. So we do that by selecting cell B13 here and then pressing the equals key. So then we want to select B8 to select January's total sales. Then we'll select the minus key. Now we'll select cell B11, which is the expenses. Then you want to press the enter key or the little green tick. And that has worked out your net profit. Again, you don't have to do that for every cell. You can hover over the cell that we've just created the function in and then press the little yellow tab and drag it throughout the rest of the cells. So that is a few different ways how to add and subtract within Apple Numbers. I hope you found that video helpful, and if you did, check out this playlist here where we have many other Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstrations. And thank you for watching.